All right, guys, listen up. EDP is back again, and we're talking about it again because I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> he I, apparently he apologizes. This is called mistakes were made. I'm genuinely just curious. That's pretty much it. Um, this is on his other account that probably shouldn't exist. So hopefully they can ban it at some point. But he's actually doing very well on this account, weirdly enough. Um, he's got 15,000 subscribers and he's actually got like <clears throat> quite a few views. One of them is about how he got dialysis treatment today. So that's fun. Um, I don't know. I thought they banned him for a reason, but, uh, <laughs> I guess he's able to come back. So that's something else. Anyway, let's see what his quote unquote accountability looks like. Uh, I'm curious. So yeah, let's see. People are going to paint their narrative on you based on what they want to believe, especially when it comes to the internet and social media. They're true, but also we've seen the evidence from you. <laughs> so, one thing I want you guys to understand is that when you're dealing with trolls, when you when you're dealing with people on the internet who can just leave a comment and just run off to the scurries of their own, you know, hiding spots, is that. There's no reconciling with these motherfuckers. There's no getting through to them. There's no, you know, trying to get these people to understand um, where you are at. So this is generally true, just to be clear. But again, we have a whole video of this guy. We have the, the chat logs of him trying to riz up somebody that he thought was 13. And then we have him trying to meet up with somebody he thought was 13. And he sent them their poop, his poop. So that's crazy. Thank you so much for the $5 from Frames. Thoughts on covering the Muda video on the Predator Catcher vid that went viral on Twitter? Or are you just covering it? I'm not sure if you have a take on it. What video are you talking about? Send it in the Discord if you could. At that point in time in your life, you know, addressing what happened a few years ago, the whole incident and stuff like that, I'll be the first person to tell you I was in a very dark place in my life. Very dark place. Okay. You know, um, had the fame, had the money. <laughs> You know, um, where do you get that Minecraft disease? <laughs> I got the fame, I got the money. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. The Minecraft disease took me over. I just couldn't not talk to this person I thought was thirteen. It's, it's overwhelming me. Had the status, you know. Um, okay. I thought that I couldn't be touched. I mean, like, let's just to be clear. Like, I've been in a situation where uh, I've been very successful. And I let it get to my head as well. Absolutely. I didn't try to message <laughs> somebody who I thought was that young. Um, I was just kind of an asshole. And, like, my content suffered. And I think it, it's, it was definitely part of, like, the, the downfall I had. It wasn't a massive one. But, like, you know, and it took a while to take a step back and, and recalibrate, we'll say. But, uh, again, we're, 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 this is a very, this is, we're, this is, this is a different situation, brother. You know, and if you're trying to tell us that, like, you know, you felt on cloud nine because you were so popular that you could get away with anything. And the thing you wanted to get away with was talking to somebody of that age. That's really bad. Hot take. Right. Um, but OK. And paid the price for it. You know, now, one thing I want you guys to understand, you know, another thing I want you guys to understand. And of course, you know, there's going to be those motherfuckers out there. Oh, EDP, just because you were in a dark place, that doesn't justify what you did. First off, don't try to put fucking words up in my mouth. We're not here for that shit. Um, I'm here I like how the comments are disabled on this video. <laughs> to explain to you where I was at in my headspace a few years ago. You know what I mean? I mean, usually when people talk about how they had a dark time, they're not usually referring to when they were on top of the world, which is effectively what he communicates to us when it comes to like his popularity of his content. Usually they're talking about how they're like at a low point and they're feeling pathetic. So like his communication of a dark time isn't even really a dark time. It's more of a really good point for him because he was feeling on top of the world that he took advantage of. It's a very different situation. The only thing that you can do as a human being okay, when you make a mistake to this magnitude 
is to never come back to the internet you know other stuff i can't talk about thank you so much for the, the two dollars from frame send the video and the suggestions have a good day thank you i appreciate that and thank you for two dollars from not fest robert idk situation breakdown i don't know what that is what are you referring to take responsibility for your actions take accountability for your actions okay I see understand that there is an issue right understand that this is not normal you know what i mean to have these type of behaviors they are not normal right get the necessary help whether it's talking to a psychiatrist, talking to a therapist, um, okay, you know, well, he's going, he's on his, he's on his liberal arc. We just gotta help these people. It can even be, it can even be as simple as talking down to your, I'm sorry, sitting down and talking to your family members. So listen, man, here's the thing, right? Let's have like a, a like the un, let's have the uncomfortable. Hello, sorry, I'm just putting this up for the next thing, but we're gonna have the uncomfortable conversation really quick of uh, providing support, mental health support to people like EDP, right? So my take on it is like we should create a space where you can come forward and talk to a therapist before you engage in any, you know, trying to <clears throat> go after a young person, right? So, you know, you don't choose to be attracted to young people. So, like, if you're attracted to a young person and you go to a therapist and you get mental health help, I think you should be able to do that. Because if you're just like, we should, we should, you know, execute them all. First, the reality is, is like, you don't know who they are until they come out, right? So it's better to create that space and be like, hey, listen, if you want to get mental health support, we'll support that. You can try to get over your addiction, maybe take a pill that basically is, I mean, maybe even a pill that effectively destroys your sex drive. Um, I'm fine with that. But once you pass that point of no return and you try to meet up with somebody you think is a kid, I don't I don't have any empathy anymore because you could seriously harm somebody. So I'm not really on to this whole like, oh man, this this whole narrative he's pushing. Like I don't feel sympathetic to you. Um it's like I just don't. So I don't I'm not really eating this up. This is a very this is uh, just not I'm just not on it. I'm not feeling it, buddy. You know? Guys and gals, me Nope, I'm gonna and overall just trying to and like if you want to have this perspective fine but like stay off the internet you're trying to come back and have an internet career like you should at least have the shame and understanding that you shouldn't be trying to come back i mean you've already abused your platform utilizing it to try to talk to somebody you thought was a kid so why would you like you know at the very least why are you still opening yourself up to the ability to generate that potential power again to potentially misuse it. I mean, you've thrown, oh, you should thrown away your ability to do any of this. Thank you for the $5 from PP. Uh, was there when you read the chat logs? I don't know how he can try to explain his way out of describing how to have sex with a decoy. Yeah, no, it's very, he also sends his poop to somebody he thinks he's 13. So that's, uh, that's insane. That's crazy work, brother. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah make sure that the same mistake yeah i don't even think it was one decoy yeah this is like something that's been going on for quite a while doesn't happen again and you okay. learn from your mistake that's all you can do okay and just try to improve yourself as a person if that's not good enough for people well then that sounds like a fucking personal issue to me um is he trying to is he trying to do like a self-improvement arc now a lot of people they like to assume right just because yeah. i haven't came out and made some big ass crying video you know what I mean? well it, here's the thing <clears throat> right like i don't think he should be on the internet in general but every single time he comes forward and talks about some apology which we've seen before it's always like basically the communication is i've never done anything wrong so what are we supposed to get out of it? If somebody was open to um, accepting some form of apology and, and, and move forward and change and all that, you haven't provided anything that would give people that opportunity to grasp onto that. And again, I don't think that anybody should grasp onto that. But you haven't exactly been like apologetic and been like, oh, I messed up. I did this. Or that. It's always just been this double down. And what are we, three or four years later? Like, why the, why the fuck would anybody look at this now and go, oh, yeah cool stuff you know what it's time to move on i don't understand i mean um making a fucking ass out of myself all hysterical on camera and shit like that that 
I show no remorse. Sorry, I'm a little sick. People ask me why I'm sniffing so much. My bad. That couldn't be any more further from the truth. Yeah, okay. Thank you for the $5 from the Unknown Freaks. I remember seeing a video about a non-offending pedo and how he advocates for others like him to get help. I don't know if you saw it. He had a hook hand. <laughs> he had a hook hand. That's, I don't think I saw it. I would have remembered the hook hand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, what I want you guys to realize is the fact that I have sat down and I have apologized to my family, right? I've apologized to my diehard friends. And when I say diehard friends, I mean my friends. It's funny because I remember him um, saying something along the lines of like his family doesn't believe any of this a while back. So it's very interesting. I I openly admit I forgot about because I was surrounded by so many clout chasing motherfucking people who only really cared about me based on my internet and social media status you feel me i'm not uh, going to mention yeah, their name I feel you, dude. i'm not going to put them out there like that you guys know exactly well what see look so what how are you coming to this determination <clears throat> that they're only trying to associate themselves with you for attention are you saying that you had friends that were only trying to associate themselves for attention or are you saying that people are going after you for attention because if it's the friend thing that means that you determined that they were only your friend because of you were a content creator because they decided not to be your friend anymore after your allegations came out. But your allegations are far beyond a, a particular line of acceptability. It's not like it came out that you cheated on your wife or something like that. It, you came out, you tried to meet up with what you thought was a 13 year old. So I'm not exactly understanding what the hell you're talking about. You are sat down with them apologize to him, heartfelt apology, you know what I mean? And we made amends, we talked about it, and we moved the fuck on. Okay. That's all you can do. Cool. And that's fine for your real life, right? Like your family, you know, again, if your family is like, wow, that's a really big mess up, but like, you know, you need to do better. That's fine, I don't care. We're not talking about family though, we're talking about the internet, so. Now, as far as fucking weirdos oh, hitting me up on Instagram, you know, I'm going to show you guys some bullshit. I'm, you know, I'm going to tell you all some bullshit. Okay. So they are literally 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds. You know what I mean? DMing me, hitting me up on Instagram. <laughs> and they'll fucking oh my God. type this message and they'll be all like, Oh my God, are you the real EDP? Okay. <laughs> do, do you think that they're actually that age or do you think that they're just pretending to do that so that they can fuck with him and he's just still falling for it? <laughs> you know what I mean? And the moment I respond with, yes, I am. Why would you even respond? <laughs> this is so funny because this just shows that he's not... This just further proves to me, at least, that he's not responsible enough to come back to content creation as if we needed more evidence. But you're telling me that there are people who are 13 to 17 that are hitting you up and asking if you're the real EDP and you're responding to it to say, yes, I am. Just that in general. Why are you even opening yourself up to these conversations? Like, is that what? what are you, why would you even be like, oh, yeah, it's me. Why? Why would you even say that? Why would you admit that? Why would you tell us that? I don't get it. What they'll do, right? And they think that they're fucking sneaky about this shit, right? Um, malicious intent. You feel me? <laughs> I made a video a long time. Malicious intent. Oh my God, I couldn't imagine being like, this 14 year old had malicious intent when they tried to get me to talk to them sexually this is so terrible what are you talking about bro Some time ago and it was a video where i talked about obviously adults should be held accountable and they should be um they should get in trouble for messaging minors and engaging in wow those type of conversations in that particular way right yeah the hottest take of the century guys you shouldn't talk to kids if you're an adult wow good job thank you edp for that i also feel minors 
should get in trouble for messaging adults. You feel me? <laughs> Bro, like, here's the thing. <clears throat> here's the problem with this. I, I almost a l little bit agree. The problem is that the subtextual argument that EDP is making here is that they should get in trouble the same. No. If a fucking 14-year-old messages a 25-year-old because they think that they're cute and handsome, if it was my kid, I would smack him and say, knock it off, you're going to get yourself hurt. But the criticism is no way cl close to equal to the 25-year-old messaging the 14-year-old. That's a grown person messaging somebody that is not a grown person to take advantage of them. The, the young person is stupid and thinks that they're older and more mature than they actually are, right? Because we've all been 14 or teenagers and we all, oh, I'm so grown for my age. You're not. Shut up. You're stupid, right? So like you're a 14 year old, you're stupid. You're a 25 year old, you're a predator. So like, do I think that we should, the young people should get in trouble? Like, yeah, by their parents, they should get scolded, but you should be in jail. <laughs> it's just not even close to the same in any capacity. It's not even... It's not even close to close. It's, just a, it's, 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 it's actually fucking wild that you'd even come out with this. Because like, if I say it, if I sit here and give you that take, you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I, you, you understand that my, my main goal is just like, yeah, you know, we have to make sure young people are stay safe. So like, there's no dog whistling here. But for him, like this guy got in trouble for talking to a young person. So like, he's obviously, in my opinion, dog whistling that like young people should be equally as responsible as the older people like what 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 are you talking about dude having a very malicious intent i don't care messages okay you feel me? This is malicious I mean. malicious intent dude that's insane this one chick she messaged me right and yeah, she right. goes oh my god thank you so much for the two dollars from robert fulton he reminds me of uh of legion from who the fuck did i marry what is that i don't even know what that is wait Le oh i know what you're talking about you can't insult legion like that legion didn't try to talk to kids i don't think are you the real edp i respond back with bitch how old are you and who the fuck sent you right why would you respond at all because i know fucking well skeeter john Gideon and all these fake ass. I think it's Skeeter Jean. Correct me if I'm wrong. Wanna be Chris Hansen impersonating motherfuckers? More than likely, they fucking sent you. You know what I mean? But they're fucking no life fucking ass, right? Uh, okay. I'm not really concerned with that behavior from them. I'm more concerned with your behavior. Bitch, how old are you? And who sent you? Oh, I'm 14. Screenshot. Let's go ahead. Who are you screenshotting it for? What are you gonna? Uh, you see, guys, I told you I'm the victim. What? Who are you screenshotting that for? What compelling information? What are you? What are you talking about? What is the screenshot gonna do? And tag Gideon, and let's go ahead and tag fucking Skeeter John or whatever the fuck his name is, right? Skeeter John, Gideon, get him! You see what the fuck they're doing, right? Yes, I do. And it's a criticism I've had before because what's happening here, and this is some of the irresponsibility of some people that are trying to catch you know, predators, is there will be a young person. Because this, this is something that happened with EDP. There was a young girl, I think she was 15, who reached out to, to EDP to seemingly try to get him caught. And um, I'm very against decoys of under 18. And the reason is, is because in that conversation, EDP's new shtick, because he's done this multiple times, was tell me where you live so that I know that you're not fucking with me. It's effectively to some degree a threat. So he, she didn't want to tell her where he lives. So, so she said that she gave him the address of her ex-boyfriend, which I'm going to assume was also her age. That's dangerous, right? So now this girl that I believe was 14 or 15 that tried to reach out, and it might have been well-intentioned, ended up potentially putting somebody else in danger. Another, uh, I'm assuming, 15-year-old. So that shouldn't happen. And you shouldn't support using anybody who's a decoy under the age of 18 because there's a higher chance of stupidity like that. Higher chance of that person getting upset. They might have gone in there, uh, you know, it, it, you never know. Somebody could go in there and be like, I'm going to catch this person being a 15 year old and then get so intimidated by the EDP, feel like they have to go along with what he's saying, right? 
So, like, I agree to criticize these young people who do this because they're potentially going to hurt themselves. Even like, you know, you have to be more responsible. So, if somebody's going to set up a decoy situation, it should be an adult using adult decoys with like that knows how to navigate the situation better. So, absolutely, I would criticize a young person for doing it, for putting themselves in harm's way. But the critic again, the criticism from him isn't that they might get themselves hurt. Obviously, because he would be the hurt creator, right? He would be the one that would engage in the hurt. The criticism is that these people, these young children, these children, right? These teenagers, they should be morally as responsible as he is. That's fucking insane. It's just stupid. It does. It 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 shows that he hasn't, and not that anybody ever had an expectation of him changing. But it just confirms what we already knew. He shouldn't be a content creator. He shouldn't be able to have a platform. He's still responding back to these people he thinks are thirteen years old. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, what are we supposed to do with this information? Like, why would we? Like you obviously you couldn't come back. You wouldn't be able to in general, but like obviously based on the way that you're interacting, you haven't learned a lesson. You're trying to blame the young people for the thing that you did. Uh, there's nothing, there's no, there's no justifier for it. And yeah, EDP also has apparently tons of guns. So that's another th that thing that would scare people. So purposely messaging, not just me, purposely <laughs> messaging people, right? To okay. fuck with them. Which ultimately leads to harassment. Right? I'm not really caring if you get harassed, just to be clear. But okay, bud. Showing up at your fucking job. Love the audio. where you work at. Fucking, you know, showing up at your motherfucking dialysis center. You know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to find out, you know, what type of community that you fucking live in. Right? Storming the fucking leasing office and shit like that. Storming HOA offices and shit like that. Wow, this is funny. I didn't know all this happened to you. Incredible. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Fucking with you out in public at the grocery store. Oh, no. You feel me? Throwing shit at your motherfucking window as you're at a fucking stoplight when somebody recognizes you. So am I supposed to, like, be upset about this? Like, I don't really understand. This isn't even an apology. This is uh, an apology. This is, it's funny enough, this is the most genuine apology we've ever actually gotten from him. But it's still not an apology. It's a, I know I did something bad, but stop being mean to me. That's what this is. It's a downplay. Thank you for the $2 from Willow Amnesty. This EDP guy seems pretty bad. You got to stop him. Yeah, I don't know. It's something I can do. We can just make fun of him at this point. You feel me? I feel you, dude. Motherfuckers trying to, you know, you have a fucking P.O. box set up and shit. Motherfuckers is able to track that shit down. And Why do you have a P.O. box set up? Fucking... Nigga, and fucking storm the little fucking place of business and shit. Okay. Fucking with the lady. Fucking with the sweet lady. You feel me? Minding her own business. Good people. Good spirited fucking people. What's happening with the audio? Should I turn him up, guys? Right? Trying to maintain a business. Right? So then don't go there. Like, if you, you know that you're a detriment to everybody around you, don't go there. I mean, listen, I, you know, we have the legal perspective. My moral perspective is I don't care that you're being harassed. Who cares? I don't care. If you're being harassed, then you should stop going to the places that were so they don't get harassed too. Why else? What do I care about? Who fucking gives a shit? <clears throat> and here come your no life motherfucking ass because you thought it was fucking funny to take a fucking screenshot and send it, and send it to these no life impersonating ghetto ass Botch fucked up sting operation. Ghetto. I mean, not to be rude, but you haven't stopped throwing off slurs. Every video, you communicate your intelligence through an endless slew of slurs. So, I'm just saying. Uh, I don't think you're the one to deliver that information. Fake ass impersonating Chris Hansen. Yeah, if he had just left the internet, this wouldn't have happened. Like, you, you, It would have went away to a greater extent. If you were actually concerned with all this, you would have left the internet. But this guy, like, I, I wonder if he's monetized. I have no idea how to check that out. But he I, he might be monetized now. So. And I wonder if YouTube is even able to ban him from the platform. Because I don't, th I don't know if any formal charges have been leveraged against them. So for YouTube to deny his ability to um, make a content might um, be 
them supporting potentially um not i don't know like let's say and i don't know exactly how it works but like let's say the law can't prove that he's a predator even though we kind of know that already um youtube might not be able to ban him or else they would support something that they can't legally back up which would make them uh maybe open for like a defamation lawsuit potentially i don't really know how it works but you feel me to fuck with you to ruin your life oh no i think you do that yourself let me ask you something no just because you think a person is guilty or not guilty right what the fuck under the law what the fuck gives you the right to go out and start harassing people so we know you're guilty based on your stuff and also legally you shouldn't be harassed but i don't care about legally right like in a law abiding society unfortunately we have to operate in certain ways blah 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 blah. right so legally if that was happening to you and you called the cops maybe the cops should stop them i guess i don't care boy i don't care who gives a shit i don't give a shit about that i don't care it's funny like you you you've ruined your own life so who cares right <sighs> and then when they've decided that they've had enough and they pull out that gun and they shoot your motherfucking ass dude he's just sitting here justifying shooting people now 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 this turned into a threat incredible right all of a sudden it was just a prank all of a sudden it wasn't that serious look at this guy he's constantly threatening this is a threat to people that if they show up, that he's going to shoot them. Or if they harass him, he's going to shoot them. And it's like, oh my god. Like, again, this is supposed to be the apology video. What do we got? We got, I'm going to, indire I'm, I'm going to indirectly imply threats to people who show up and, 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 you know, harass me. That's what we've got here. Oh, fuck, I forgot to turn this off. You know what I mean? To try to drag them back to a place where they were once at you know what i mean to try to fuck with them i don't know what you mean bud i don't give a fuck how you try to paint the situation how much you try to dress it up it's not good guys i'm really upset edp is, is is disappointed in us this is sad stuff guys but that is some that is a malicious act okay and it's fucked up it's real fucked up <laughs> Why do you guys think it took me so long to <coughs> make the that ghetto ass piece of shit, you know, half assed apology video where I had the Barack Obama voiceover? I don't even I feel like I might know what he's talking about, but I don't at the same time. What the fuck are you talking about? You're telling us the reason it took you a long time to apologize, and apparently by your own uh, assertion, and it's not even a good apology, is because people were upset with harassing you. I don't care. What are you talking about? I, what the fuck? Thank you for the $5 from Bubble Beaver Studios. I usually can't catch streams because I'm too busy, haha. But keep up the good work, dude. I've been enjoying it. Thank you. I appreciate that. I know. Okay. And my friends know. Okay. Like I mentioned before in the earlier stages of the video. Cool. There's no reconciling with these motherfuckers. You feel me? There's no winning with these niggas on fucking line. You feel okay. me? Not even if you're trying to win. You're just trying to get them to understand where you were um from a I don't care where you were from a mental health perspective when you <laughs> tried to talk to a kid. What the fuck? Mental standpoint. Or excuse me, who he thought was a kid. Back up in the day. And no, that's not fucking justifying the shit. Right? You got to keep on throwing in that. Your own assertion is that, like what's insane is like you're trying to say that you were in a dark place and then you followed it up by saying I was really full of myself. That's not a dark place. I was in a dark place. I thought I could get away with anything. That's what he said. You weren't. It's not like and it wouldn't really change anything for me, but it's not like he said I was in a really dark place. Uh, I'm a disgusting, smelly loser who can't get girls and blah, blah, blah. He said he was in a dark place because he felt like he could get away with anything. <laughs> it's not even like, what are you talking about, dude? What the fuck? This is not me trying to justify it. Yes, it is. They got fucking selective hearing, right? No, this is him trying to justify it. When, like, a lot of this, most of this video is complaining about how um, 
the miners should be punished to a similar degree. This is that is what it is. Because I knew deep down, right? No matter how fucking apologetic I was, no matter how fucking sorry I was, uh-huh. or whatever the fuck, they're going to fucking throw that bullshit at you. Oh. You're only making the video and you're only crying in the video because you got caught. Nobody wants to hear your excuses for why you talked to what you thought was a kid. That's what it boils down to. So, Okay. Let's not make the video then. Oh, you need to take accountability and responsibility. Nobody wants you back as a content creator. I, I, I... He's trying to appeal to us that like, oh, he just feels like he can't win. It's unfair. Nobody cares that you can't win. You, <laughs> what are you talking about? You need to cam up and address your fans. The only people that who I even said that. I think most people are just like, you shouldn't be back. Need to address are my friends and my family members. True. That- if you stayed offline. I hurt deeply. Thank you for the two dollars from AJ. Funny how a couple of videos be- below is him endorsing Trump. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. By my actions. Thank you for the five dollars from Galaxy Zaquan. Hopefully, I said that right. Just because you're famous doesn't mean you're immune to the bad shit you do. It's not even that he did bad shit, dude. He tried to fuck a kid. <laughs> it's like so beyond, like just bad shit. You know what I mean? It's like so crazy. It's unreasonable. Like him even thinking, even having the audacity to try to come back. Those are the only people that I need to address, and that I have addressed privately. I'm not going to come on here. What's so funny is like I'm not sure if he's able to come back because he shouldn't be able to, but like constantly talking about the situation is certainly not going to help him come back. You know what I mean? Like, and it's almost a good thing that he's continuously talking about this. But if he would stop talking about it, there is the potential for him to people to almost forget or get tired of talking about it because that's a real thing. Like people might, in all honesty, get tired of talking about it. And just be like, okay, we're not going to, like, yeah. I mean, a lot of people's perspective would be like, oh, I don't want to talk about this because it gives him more attention, right? Because then, like, he still gets attention, if any. But I don't think that this type of attention is necessarily going to have a good impact on him. But if, you know, people, if they do stop talking about it, then he might be able to, like, change his content. People all of a sudden, like, start to engage with what he's doing and saying again and be like, oh, this guy's kind of funny, ha, ha, ha. And move forward because um, people like there was another allegation that came out against him a while ago that was like an 18 year old tried to talk to him and a lot of people I had a big criticism because a lot of people were like oh yeah see he's doing it again I'm like well he's not he's talking to somebody who's a legal adult this doesn't help because there are young people especially who are still getting older every day um, who don't know what EDP is uh, who he is or what he's done so when you come forward with like stupid false accusations about the guy all it does is give people the opportunity to go, oh, I guess this, if this one is a lie, then maybe the first one is a lie because most people are doing word of mouth. And I'm pretty sure YouTube took down a bunch of the videos of like the pre- of poaching, the catching anyway, because I think my video got taken down. A lot of people's videos got taken down anyway. <clears throat> uh, from what I remember, because I remember one of mine got taken down on my uh, archive account, which was my old, was my old main, right? So you're, it's, you know... Um, that was one of my criticisms. So it's possible, though, that like people forget, especially young people, which seems to be, I don't know if that's, maybe that's what his uh, appeal of his audience is, is young edgy boys that like it that he says the N-word every other sentence. Um, you know, it just gives them an opportunity. I'm not going to fucking cry my heart out and fucking get on my hands and knees and fucking grovel and beg for your forgiveness. Okay. Why? Because you guys, like I mentioned before, you guys already painted a narrative on me. You guys think that I'm this fucking terrible monster. Yeah. Your wiener looks like a terrible monster, I'll tell you that much. So what's the point? Is that it? Was that the was that the last of it? You guys think I'm a terrible monster, so what's the point? <laughs> what is this? He's on his jokester arc. I'm the jokester, Batman. 
All right, man. Uh, I think I might have said last video. Hopefully, this is the last that I even talk about this guy. But you know, I I'm, I was curious. I'm gonna be real with you to watch, and if I watch it, I might as well make money watching it. Am I right? So crazy stuff, guys. Can't wait for the redemption arc. <laughs> it's ridiculous.